Hi everybody, welcome to the Trades of the Week with myself, Marcus De Maria, and we have Keith here today, one of our amazing trader coaches, taking us through what we've been investing in and exiting the last week or so. So, take us away, Keith. So um, from last week, we had a couple of trades. So the first one is ES, and we've now moved this down to half a percent to lock in, uh, sorry, one and a half percent, apologies, to lock in some profits with this. So this is all the, obviously the Buffalo strategy where we have a nice risk reward ratio. We are already at at least one and a half percent. Oh, wait, so, so right there. And he also <laughs> said it as well. One and a half percent profit there, looking to go down, locking that in, but allowing it to follow the golden rule, or one of the two at least, which is to let your profits run as Keith, much as possible. As long as possible. As long no, as I'll possible. take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. So that's the first one. So 1.5% locked in. Um, and then next one is GTH. And we've now locked in at break even. We are in profit. So in this one, it's a risk free trade, which we love. So as it is going down, we would now start moving our stop loss to lock in some more of the profit. Yeah. Some people, they always talk about, you know, trailing stop losses. Trailing stop losses mm -hmm. when it automatically moves up, so for example, you have it here, you have the stop loss here, let's say at fi a random 5%, and that's the point. You know, why 5%? That's why we don't use it. But as long as it keeps going up, it follows, but as it comes down, and then if it carries on going up, it will do lock 5% and carry on going up, or take you out. That is a little bit lazy. Mm -hmm. We don't like to use it. Yeah, it, sto it stops you being hands-on, right? It right. W as, as we trade, it's 20 minutes a day. If you haven't got 20 minutes to do this, they're, they're saying, well. <laughs> it doesn't matter when, right? It doesn't matter when because we, it doesn't matter whether the market is open or closed, right? So mm -hmm. you know, some people are saying, well, why don't you move it on? Because you have to give the market time to move. You've got to give it room. That's why we're not so aggressive with it. Okay, we will Correct. start getting very, very aggressive as it starts reaching, of course, our target. Correct, right, correct. So we're, we're just waiting for them to, to go down a bit further. Now we've got a couple of new opportunities. So we've got Sabre Corporation. Once again, this is a short position. As you can see, we've had a downwards trend since uh, middle of March this year. The market is making new lows, which is showing a strengthening of this resistance. So we do have our entry price 1% below. Now, this is interesting because you're suggesting this might be a good one to get into, especially since the, you know, um, well, we should actually talk a little bit about the market, but, mm -hmm. but, but, let, but let's do this now. So um, shouldn't there be, an, an, I mean, I'm just saying, Dennis would wait for a red candle. Definitely. He, he would wait for that red candle just to show that there is sellers in the market. Are you waiting for that red candle? I would be waiting for the red candle as well. Mm, you didn't mention that before. <laughs> Not <okay>. yet. <laughs> fine. All right, fine. So we're waiting for a nice red candle to get into with a nice stop order to enter. And then we've got a nice risk reward ratio on Correct. this one here. Correct. I would suggest, though, that there are there is some news coming up there. Mm -hmm. So, so we do have November, so we've earnings. Got some time. Yeah, yeah, we've got, we got time. We've got, got time. We've got time. So okay. that's the first one. The next one is Apps Digital Turbine Incorporated. Once again, another downwards trend. Market, once again, is making new lows. We have a good risk to award ratio with this one. But well, as Dennis would say, and let's bring in Dennis out, we will wait for a red candle ah, just for that good. confirmation of that one. We did also have this here, Health Peak Properties. Well, there you go. There's your red candle. And there's our red candle. But unfortunately, it's the wrong way. We're looking to go long in this position on the support level, and this one has now broken the trend, so we have cancelled the order. Um, but it, okay, I see what you mean. It, it, it has closed quite low, but it is still touching the line. For me, that's still in play. For me mm -hmm. personally, that's yeah. Still, that's so the, the problem with this one now is because it's made such a drastic low, the yeah. risk reward just won't be there now. If we move our stop loss below this candle, where it should be, we won't get that ratio. Hold on, we're not in, right? No. Oh, I see what you mean. So right, by putting it down. Correct. Yeah, 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 correct. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, so what that would mean is that if, even if there was a smaller one here and we got a lower, nicer entry point, so we would lower mm -hmm. our entry, that would give us a nice risk reward. But then because this one is now the low, we would have to put the stop loss underneath there, which means it would widen. It might be the same though. If this comes down, correct. It might so, be the same. Yeah. so that one there, we do can you have just an wait. alternative? Because um, we do need to be long and short. Correct, correct. So I did have a look this morning and one of the um, stocks that are on my watch list is VRT, Furtive Holdings. Um, it's a bit of a longer trend. As you can see here, we've had an upwards trend since July, middle of July last year. Mm -hmm. We are seeing that the market is still bullish. It has been sitting on a level of support for a few days now. So we are now looking to enter once it breaks that level. Okay, okay are so you looking for it to break this whole level now? Correct, there's a high there. correct. 
Ooh, I hope you're not holding out on us, Keith, because I did notice you said my watch list, as in mine. I hope you're nah. not holding out. No, on definitely, us. definitely. It's our watch list. Let, let's say our oh. watch list. Mm, okay. right, <laughs> but fine. this could be a good, um, a good long position. It gives us a nice little risk reward as well, um, and it's a good alternative to peak now that has broken trend. So we do have a long position here. So very we're good. hedged against the market. Okay, so hedging is very important. And by the way, there's not a lot happening in the market really. The Fed has decided to keep interest rates at. Zero, which is great because that generally does mean that people are going to look at alternative ways to try and invest to um, to make their money work hard for them, which is of course what we do. That's it. That's what we That's do. That's it. Okay, let's move to cryptos. I, I mean, again, not much happening in cryptos there either. Really, not much. Do we want to go through any of the positions? I mean, they haven't really moved much. Yeah, so a lot of the positions... I mean, they move, but they just go up and down. So. That's it. A lot of the positions that we are in haven't really moved as much as we would like. Yeah. Uh, we haven't managed to take any more profits on some of our positions. There is no moving on <laughs> No this moving this time, unfortunately. Um, and we haven't had any new entries either. As you can see, the market has been a bit sideways mm. since, since the drop um, a couple of weeks ago. So we are now waiting. Either the market is going to do one of two things. It's either going to push lower and give us new entries, or it's going to push higher, which then means we can start taking what, that, profits. Do you know what? That is very wise. So I you're know. saying it's either going to go lower, Correct. <laughs> or what was the other one? It's either going to go higher. Wow. That's deep. Please take notes, people. <laughs> Please take notes. Mr. Okay. Keith. This is really yeah, Mr. Keith. <laughs> Mr. Keith, yeah. That's it. But um, in regards to crypto, there's not much movement in price. So we are just waiting. We have orders that are in the market right now. So mm. we're waiting for them to be triggered. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, tell you a little bit of news though, if you like. Cardano announces a new stablecoin issuer and links with Chainlink, which is really hilarious because it's the one coin I didn't you know, buy more <laughs> of because I thought Chainlink, you know, it's quite solid. It's quite... Um, but uh, yeah, wow, it joins forces with Chainlink. That is pretty good. This was one, listen to this, XRP. Look, former treasurer Rosa Rios reiterated her confidence in XRP, listen to this, while criticizing other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. She says Bitcoin is speculation. My jaw nearly hit the floor on that one. <laughs> Because Bitcoin for me is one of the most solid ones. What do you think of yeah, that? Yeah, um, uh, we like to look at Bitcoin as the gold of crypto, right? It's the first, it's the most stable, everyone knows it. So from that news to come out, is, it is a bit shocking, yeah. okay? But it is showing kind of strength in Ripple. And it as is. you know, I've had a good holding in Ripple you since last Ripple. year. Everybody <laughs> Ripple. loves Ripple. Even Everybody my number plate on my car is XRP, so... Is that right? Yeah. On purpose? Not on purpose, it was luck, but... Yeah. Dude, you should have said it was on purpose. Come on. You're going to have to change that story. Okay. Uh, the next is also Solana. We love Solana. Rising, but will it face competition from other Ethereum killers like Avalanche? There seem to be a lineup now mm -hmm. of Ethereum killers. What, what, what would you so say you, are some other Ethereum yeah, killers? Yeah, so you've got obviously your Cardano, you've uh, got your Avalanche, you've got your Phantom, and you've got your Solana. So you've got four now all trying to compete. I've never heard of Phantom as an Ethereum killer. Are they saying yeah, that as well? they're, wow, they're okay. trying to. I would have said Polkadot, but they're, 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 you know, there are these kind of like heavyweights coming up. Phantom's done really well the Phantom's last a great one. Uh, few, few weeks or so. Um, and China is banning cryptos again. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean. <laughs> Please don't, don't send anybody from China to assassinate me here. But China, what are you doing? Stop trying to control people. Decentralize, man. It's okay. Um, okay, so here's the thing. about You, you said something really interesting about China. Yeah, um, apparently they have a, a large, large holding as a government in Bitcoin. Of course they do. <laughs> so, Of course they do. That, 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 that. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Just keep everybody down. But, you know, you make sure you have lots of Bitcoin, right? Of course. Is... Of course. Again, please don't send anybody to kill me. Okay, good. Now, um, so we don't really have anything new here, do we? No, there's nothing really too much to say on the crypto side. Um, just make sure you look back on previous trades of the weeks to see where our orders are and make sure you've got the same orders in as well um, if the market does fall. All I've really been doing is just um, starting new VCAs, so not on old VCAs because it hasn't come down below those, but as it's gone up <laughs> and then from a new high, I mean, some of them up thousands of percents, then come down you know, a certain percentage, like 20%, for example, I've just gone back in again and started a new um, CCA, Crypto Cost Average, okay? Um, we should mention at this point, very important, that there is a live mm -hmm. Facebook, what do you call it? A live Facebook? Facebook Live. 
Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was one of those. <laughs> I got the two words right, though, everybody. Just wrong way round. Yeah, wrong way round. <laughs> so there is a Facebook Live happening. Thursday at 2 o'clock UK time, this Thanks. Thursday, 30th, um, on our private Facebook channel. Which so. is amazing. I'm sure there'll be a link below. Yeah, they're, they're probably in the description somewhere. Okay, make sure that you are there because you get the opportunity to ask us questions live. Anything you want, we will answer it. Um, well, if it's about trading and investing. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, so please make sure that you are there for that. Make sure you don't miss out and let everybody know. Now, the next thing, let's go to our more long term, please. More mm -hmm. long term. Perfect. So, yeah. in regards to the longer term ones, we did get into Uber a few weeks ago. Yeah. I'm not sure if you've shown Uber yet, right. um, but we have locked in a stop loss now. So, Ooh. we have started to lock in our profits. And this is the way we milk the cow with, uh, with stocks, right? Because right. you can't part sell. So if you were to milk the cow, what would that sound like? Moo! See? That's, that's pretty good. It's better than my Tarzan. Come on, man. It's <laughs> cracking up. I don't understand why. Because I actually think that that was really good. I think that's not very nice of you. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, we put a stop loss here to lock in 15%, which is a uh, good investment on this one. Yeah. The other cryptos, um, the other cryptos? Hopefully, it'll we'll carry on going up. Right? The, the other stocks, we haven't had any new positions that have been taken. Mm -hmm. But we do have a new um, opportunity. And this is with fail.sa. So as you can see right now, it's currently down 37%. percent i have okay. heard of them. What do they do? So they, if we go into finviz. Oh, Keith is going to take us through fundamentals. He's Here very we, good at fundamentals. I love fundamentals. Yeah. So they are working in the commodity sector. Um, so if we have a look at fail Never heard of them. here. They're actually quite undervalued, okay? So they're working in basic materials, so industrial metals and mining, so commodities. Listen, I don't like investing in anything that I isn't either, you know, I, I like investing in blue chips. So anything mm. which is, um, you know, either a, a brand or something that I use, um, or which is, you know, all over the world uh, and has lots and lots of different products. Definitely, definitely. I think we would class this more as a growth stock okay. rather than blue chip. But as you can see, we got good market, uh, good market cap, positive income, which we want. Peg ratio, very, very undervalued, um, mm -hmm. quite sure. drastically below. Well, what about one. this earnings per share next year minus twenty three percent for me? Uh -uh. That yeah. So the earnings per share next year is a bit negative. Um, that could come into a couple of a bit. It could come for a couple of reasons. Number one, it could be because it's had such a high growth. Mm. Can it sustain that high growth? It's had five hundred percent this year. Exactly. Or number two is they may increase shares outstanding. And if shares outstanding increase, then the uh, earnings per share will be negative. But if a company is to grow, they want to put more shares onto the stock market, right? Yeah. Because more people buy. Yeah. So then you might see the negative earnings there. Okay, so you like this one. All right, yeah. so you would get a first position. Where, yeah, um, first position right now is currently down 37% from the high. Can't really argue with that. Um, whew, okay, <laughs> yeah, this could be one. It definitely could. It could be a little bit speculative. But hey, if you're up for it, then, uh, yep, minus 37%, not bad for your mm -hmm. first entry point. Make sure you do your own research, and then hopefully it'll fall again so we can lower that price again by going in a second Correct. time. Very, very good. Okay, let's have a look at our results, but I don't think they've changed, right? Because there's no, a little um, moving. Yeah, so the results are still the same. There hasn't been any profits taken. Yeah, 35% okay. on the total portfolio. So we started off the year not, not very well, but we've got under 12 months left. Mm -hmm. By the way, this we, we, we managed to do 36% in 12 months. Now we're kind of starting again. 650% uh, on the money invested on the VCA. That's good. CCA is still 1,160 and small caps 1,320. So that's going very, very well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, if you want to know these strategies, please do let us know. Um, what else? That's it for the trades of the week. Anything else you'd like to add? <laughs> no, I think um, it's the results right now are good. So now let's see where next year takes us. Yeah. But I would expect uh, a lot more. Okay, let's have a look to see what happens. Please do comment below whether you agree or disagree with any of the picks that we've talked about today. Also, you know, are you getting those same results as we are? Please let us know whether you managed to get in and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on the marvelous Keith. <laughs> and uh, I'm here sometimes as well. So uh, we will look forward to seeing you next week on Trades of the Week.